Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the game Double Cross. Like most board games it has different titles in different countries. In Dutch it's Viersprung. If you are a gamer and you have never heard of this, no worries. The game is from 1987. I used to have it when I was young. When I got older I took these chips to a friend so we could use them as poker chips and then accidentally never got them back. But I always thought this was a fun and well-crafted family game. Interesting enough to put it on the table even now, once or twice a year, as a filler game. So I bought it second hand. Anyway, let's get to the explaining. You are going to keep playing until one player has five of their discs in these slots here that player immediately wins the game. How do you get a disc up here? If you slide one of your discs into one of the openings and on the other side one of yours comes out, you get to put it up here in the slot. That's it. Try to do that five times and you win the game. What do you do when it's your turn? Simple. You take one of your discs and slide it into one of these spaces. You can choose which one you want to put it in. So here, or here, here, and here. Carefully slide it in and give it a little extra push to fully hide it. Soon enough in the game this will cause another disc to pop out at the other end. If it's your disc, you can put it in the slot. That's one point already. If it's the disc of another player, that player takes back their disc into the supply. And that's it. That's what you do when it's your turn. It's almost the entire game. The last thing to tell you about is this green disc. What happens when you slide in your disc and this green one comes out on the other end? That's bad news. If you get a green disc, the first thing you have to do is remove one of your points. You put that disc back into your supply. And then you finish it by pushing the green disc into one of the four openings. And we're done. When it's your turn, put one of your discs into one of the openings. If another one of your disc pops out at the other end, you get to take that as one point. First player to have five points wins the game. The fun element is trying to remember what is inside and how it moves around when everyone puts in their discs one by one. When you've completely lost count, sliding in one of your discs can even get a little exciting to see what will come out on the other side. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one. Mm -hmm.